and let us do some calculation. Okay, let us make T1. Okay, T1 right here. Okay, let me get the brush. T1, T1. Yes, T1 right here. And let's make that 50 Newtons. Okay, 50 Newtons. Where is my brush? Yes, 50 Newtons. I'll make that T1 to be, just to be precise. And let's take T2, T2 to be 40 Newtons, okay? 40 Newtons. And we have our force of gravity and normal reaction. Okay, very nice. We can find that, we can find that. Okay, so let's do it for the y-axis. Okay, just skip to the y-axis because there are no such, uh, we, all the, we all know all the forces in the, x direction right we can just put in 50 here and 30 here and we'll just find it to match with each other i guess yeah so in the y direction okay the same thing acceleration equals the net force times the mass and that is in the y direction this time okay and we have an acceleration of zero meter per second because it's in rest right and that will equal to a several forces, okay? So what do we have here? We have the normal force that is in the positive direction, okay? In the positive direction because it is upward and by convention, we are taking upward as positive, right? And we have our T1 sub y, T1 sub y, that is T1 sine theta, the vertical component of our pulling force T1. And we have a negative, force of gravity because it is acting downward, right? And we have a mass of 10 kgs, okay? If we multiply 10 kg with zero and you know, cross multiply that, it will become zero. So we're not gonna write that, okay? And we'll just skip to the step where we bring our force of gravity on this side, okay? So let me write that just here, force of gravity. And we are talking about magnitudes right here. Okay, from now on, we're, we're just gonna talk about magnitudes, okay? Because, you know, sign, we get it. You know, there's a difference when we need to solve yeah, for sign, I guess, yeah. So Fn, that is force, the normal force, and T1 sine theta, okay? So, what do we know here? We want to find the force, normal force, right? So we know the force of gravity equals mg, right? That will just equal m times g. And for convenience, let us take g to be 10 meter per second square, all right? Cool. And in this side, we don't know the normal force, but we do know the value, the magnitude of the T1 force, right? T1 force, that was 50 newtons right here, 50 newtons, okay? So 50, we'll write that with the red color, the red color right here. And, and we have the sine theta, which is sine 30, okay? Sine of 30 degrees, okay? Cool. So what is our mass? Well, our mass is obviously 10 kg, and we're multiplying that with another 10 meter per second square. And let us bring this thing, this, this whole thing to this side, okay? And that will just become negative, negative of 50, 50 sine theta and sine, sine theta of 30 degrees, you know, sine 30 degrees is just one half, right? And that equals to the normal force, right? So consolidating all of this, this will become 100 Newtons. 100 newtons why because kg meter per second square that is the, the uh, you know the thing of for newton you know the dimensions of newton minus 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 50 times half that is just 25 okay 25 newton because this was this was in newtons because this is a force so force has the unit newtons right equals the normal force, all right? So this here equals 75 Newtons, and that is the value, the magnitude of our normal force, okay? So we did some physics calculation right here. 
we found the normal force okay what did we do we used the fbd to find what forces are balancing each other then we used the newton's second law the formula to find the normal force and that's what we are going to do in the sisyphus case as well